It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liuan. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. That's the pot! It looks like the hilly trolls are still using it! It's a hidden place, but we gotta cut the line! Let's fire it up and begin our experiment! We're ready to go! Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is, so pay close attention. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Indeed, wasn't it? It was so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some jade, shall we? You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Huh? No, it wasn't that one. Paimon remembers that it wasn't very bright. Think a bit harder. Exactly. That's the one Paimon remembers too. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. All the same, uh, and pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really... It, oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas... Alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good, honest merchants such as yourself, I for one believe that Liu Er will continue to prosper as it all. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. Oh, wait! Didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? <sighs> That's a relief! Have a look but It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though to be honest, it'd be alright even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Hmm, it seems that we must. I will keep that in mind. Thanks, both of you.